Hi there. Let's now explore the Funnels report. In order to navigate to a Funnels report mix panel, all you need to do is toggle to the reports and select Funnels, or you could simply go to the Funnels mini icon within the reports view. Just like the Insights report, the Funnels report has a query panel on the left side of your screen while you visualize what you're querying on the right side of your screen. By default, you will see a few things within your funnel report. You will see that the time period selected is set to 30 days by default. And you will see the conversion criteria has again been set to being within 30 days for uniques counting a single entry per user. Let's build a sample funnel. So as you would have already expected, a funnel requires you to provide Mixpanel a series of steps. So in this case, I because this is an e-commerce uh, use case, I would look at um, product viewed, product added, cart viewed, checkout, and purchase completed. So this is a series of steps where I require my users to complete these series of steps within a conversion window. Now let's understand conversion criteria a bit better. What it means that my users should have completed all five steps within this criteria to be considered as converted. So 30 days is a fairly long period of time. I'm going to change this to one day but you can choose between seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or even sessions. Once I do that, you will see that Mixpanel shows me a funnel where my users typically have completed or converted in this funnel with an overall conversion rate of 1.47%. What is interesting to see is that I can change this time, time range to align with a custom set of dates of let's say when I had a campaign running, or I can filter and apply breakdowns this to this to understand if there are any specific campaigns that are performing better than others in terms of driving overall conversion. As we can see from this example, the birthday coupon is the most successful campaign at driving overall conversions. However, you will see more information about how my users progress from one step to another by looking at the table. Now, what else can you see within a funnel chart or a funnel report? You can see things like funnel steps. You can see funnel trends. If there is an annotation that you want to add to, to denote or let your team members know that a certain campaign may have influenced a spike or a dip. You can look at time to convert to understand on an average how long it takes your users to go from step one to completing step five. While it shows you a distribution, you can look at the median time, which in this case is 10.3 hours. You can even narrow down to the smallest time unit if you choose to zoom into any one of the bars and it will show you that about 11.26% of your users complete this in less than four hours. You can choose to see time to convert for all steps or between steps. You can even look at frequency, allowing you to know which are the points of friction within this funnel. So what frequency denotes is this is looking at how many times users are viewing a product before they add it and it looks like more than half of your users are proceeding with one click. But in case you wanted to understand what are the friction points between step four and step five, you will see that it typically takes one fourth of your users to start the checkout process at least two times before they complete their purchase. So frequency is a great way to understand where are my users getting stuck and performing the same action again and again.